Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we will look at the pros and cons of different router types. They can be divided into two types, each with their own variation. Alright, if you don't know what the difference between a moving and a fixed gantry is, I'll show you that in Fusion. Here we can see a moving gantry. The whole gantry can move back and forth. With a fixed gantry, the gantry itself is fixed to the table. And that means that you have a second table that can move back and forth. Alright, now that you know um, what a moving and a fixed gantry is, we can talk a little bit about the pros and the cons of each uh, type. The moving gantry uh, is pretty limited in, in weight as it has to move back and forth, uh, but it is however pretty compact as it saves a lot of space uh, and it weighs less uh, because usually with a fixed gantry CNC you will have a, a, a much more beefy gantry as it's static. Alright, let's take a look at the cons of a moving gantry. It can't do heavy cuts compared to uh, a fixed gantry, and that's mainly because of the lack of weight and stiffness in the gantry compared to a fixed gantry. And it requires a bigger enclosure and it has bad drain for cutting fluids, but we'll talk about that later. Alright, a fixed gantry. The pros of a fixed gantry is that it has unlimited gantry weight and that basically means that you can add as much weight as you like without um, constraining the motors on the machine because the, the gantry is fixed as the name implies. Uh, this also means that you, you can design a pretty heavy duty machine for cutting steel. Um, also it can have a, a really compact enclosure and better drain for cutting fluids which we will discuss in a minute. And the cons of a fixed gantry is that it requires more space and it weighs more. Alright, so what do I mean by um, drain and cutting fluids when talking about a moving and fixed gantry? Well, if you look at the table on a moving gantry, uh, this is where you would clamp your pieces of wood and metal. Um, there's, there's not really anywhere for the cutting fluids to go unless you have uh, some sort of tray around the whole machine and that takes up space and then next to that tray you would have uh, your enclosure. So that would take up quite a bit more space than uh, the working table. But if we take a look at the fixed gantry type, right here we have the, the, the table and as you can see it uh, allows us to, to cut holes in, in the table to, to drain cutting fluid. Alright, uh, I also mentioned something about enclosures um, and I'll show you that right here. If we want to create an enclosure for a moving gantry then we have to make the enclosure go all the way uh, around the machine but if we take a look at the fixed gantry type it would be possible to make uh, an enclosure integrated into a part of the frame as you can see right here which is a lot more compact and that's mainly because the gantry is not moving around so if you look at it from the side we can uh, we can lower the whole enclosure itself, uh, assuming it would be okay to have a little, little open area right here around the top part of the gantry. So for the machine which I'm going to design, I'm going to choose to build a moving gantry. And that is, uh, if you remember, because of uh, one of our requirements, um, which uh, requires that it's a compact design. And as you can see, the um, fixed gantry takes up a lot more space if you want to have the same um, capacity as um, the moving gantry has. Alright, now that we know which type of uh, router we will be designing, we can take a look at different variations of a moving gantry CNC router. There's mainly two uh, variations. This is the first, this is the most common one. And the second variation is where you have lifted uh, the whole gantry up so that you are basically just left with the beam instead of being left with uh, these two legs. These legs can decrease the stiffness of the machine because um, if you look at it from the side, if you put a load on the spindle from this direction to over here, the whole machine will pivot around the um, where the gantry is um, sliding back and forth. That would be right here. 
Uh, so this design has a lot more leverage when cutting compared to um, raised uh, moving gantry type right here. If we put a cutting force on this spindle right here, from over here to here, uh, you can see that there's a lot less leverage uh, in relation to where the, the gantry is connected to the table. Uh, Alright, even though this configuration uh, can be uh, stronger, we, we are going to, to build uh, the moving type gantry because it saves us a lot of material and because it's easier to build. Um, and what do I mean by material savings? Well, if you look at the sides right here, this would be uh, the linear rails. Compare that to the, the sides of the raised moving gantry type and you will see that we would need to buy two more pieces of aluminum right here which would have to be quite thick and stiff. Uh, I don't want to do that because we would also have to mount them to the table itself which would require um, a lot of bolts and tapping along where they would be mounted. I want to avoid that if possible and it is possible we can avoid that by going with this type of design instead. Um, this means however that we have to design the legs for the gantry uh, to make them a bit stiffer so that we minimize the the bend on the cutting loads. Alright that's all I have to say about choosing the right uh, router type. In the next video we will talk about different options for designing uh, the gantry beam. Alright guys that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching and take care.